That's a, yeah, I knew it. it is up here. We're just fighting the same in the same area again. I wasn't ready for that. Nail scratch him. Got two down with that. Nice, dude. Ultimate stack slow. Oh, he lived. Oh no, he did not. That was Gary. Paralyzer Brawl. Messed up, dude. be a long series of fights. Watch me. Normally how it is. I wonder if I could have changed his career before coming here. That was kinda cool. That was really cool actually. That does so much damage. Good try. Get him before he attacks. Excellent. Point blank. What's up, dude? Do you want to work for me? Even though I don't really work there anymore. Kindness level 5. I think I said that last time. What's up, losers? Let's try it out. What was it? It was... Uh, point blank, right? Okay, that was really cool. He attacks so fast. Take it. That's probably how I um, revive someone, right? Is there any way to recover MP? Oh, they do recover MP. Oh, the tuners recover MP. That makes so much sense now. Yeah. There you go. Might as well use them. Use them while I have them. This guy's got a pretty cool outfit. Yo. Yeah. Unfortunately. I'll beat your ass, dude. Take me there now.
We got trouble. Watch me. Let's see here. Let's do combo beat. Nice music, dude. Nice, yeah, shit faced. One down, and one is shit faced. Head trauma. I like the dealer, honestly, but it's kind of lacking in my power. After him, but first that briefcase on the floor and that item in the back. They give you so many items. What the heck? Like they're good items too. Golden butterfly. Fair with you though. What did I do? Let's hide him. Try switch her out. Should I open it? Um, Got it. Maybe. I don't care much for Aerie. I just got a new one too. Yeah, they all got survival boots. Just got boxing shoes. Magic Sam's this, but what about this one? Magic decrease all the agility I want up the Alright, up we go. What's up guys? You cooking me dinner? Oh. You think this is the kitchen? What makes you say that? <laughs> ah. Oh, they're practicing? Yo, you don't want my meat though. They want to be known as cannibals. They get big boss health. Nice. He's gonna swing that at you. Fire breath. I hate that move, it's so good. Oh, it's, it's a double triangle real fast. He's already bleeding. Yeah, there you go. Good times. Oh, 
Look at all the food here. It'd be a waste just to leave it. I agree with you. My mind there. Hey, maybe we could take some to go. <laughs> hey, people, did you forget we're on a mission here? Huh. I did not forget. going there's so many items dude yeah, should I'll, I open it yeah I'll fight mimic that wasn't mimic um, it looked like it was gloves that what not what it was. Yeah, you know, it's weird. I don't remember what that item set was. Oh, this one, iron gloves. Oh, shit, dude. Okay, it's cool as hell. Let's go. Up or down? Well, let's check what's down here first. Okay, an item. There is an item. Pudding. I don't know if we should eat that, to be honest with you. Seems a little sketch. Up we go. Should I open it? When we Got stop, it. no one really knows. Brain wall. Brainwash gas ball. I was gonna say there's gotta be a fight in here. I'm not gonna fight a little long. tiger, what? am I? It's his tiger? Ah. Fight you. Watch your fast. All right. Take your best shot. Take this. Prepare to suffer. Cool. I'm not back again. I just saw the opportunity I had to. Let's lower his defense. Try to taunt him. No, let's just strictly boost our attack. Goodbye. Essence of orbital laser. I can do it. Let's get nutty. <laughs> Dude, what? Hundred damage. I did like the same amount of damage. Uh, shield baths. Finish him. Man, he did let him out. He should have ate his owner before walking over here. Watching tigers while you eat? 
I will never understand rich people. Hey, I can get behind it. Tigers are just like house cats, but bigger. Way oh, bigger. Sure. It's so cute when they're about to maul you. Yeah, I'm with her on this one, Adachi. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. Tiger it does look pretty menacing. Of course, I don't have <laughs> any MP down. Okay, I started bleeding. You think sexy pose will work on it? Nice hit. Get shit faced, tiger. No, you didn't get shit faced. Go to see. We're gonna try it again though. It didn't work again. Hold it together. Bring it on. Let's use a pound, mate. Oh, this uses money. You're gonna be in a world. You're in Broth of the Netflix. I didn't read it. Oh, this root covers MP. Big boss, baby. I need to be using these more. What's the matter? Do you want your meal or maybe your toy? Are you feeling fussy? Big boss, baby. What's wrong? Are you hungry? That's the increase. Let's see. Take this. It ends here. Oh, yeah. Huh? Nice. Right. Nice. Come on. Take your best shot. It's, uh... Does this work? Yeah, I'm bleeding. No, it doesn't. Let's go. We gotta get you in the front lines, brother. Oh no, now we're double bleeding. Keep beating his ass, dude. I'm sure it does. Oh, is it another pound yet? Increasing MP isn't too bad now. Let's just waste money here. <laughs> I am using like all of them on the tiger right now. Get him, Gary. Gary Buster Holmes. Thanks for calling pound mates. Hey, your great service. Three hundred damage. Shoot it, shoot it, bro. Look at shoot it. I'm gonna paralyze it. Let's go. Strike down. Items. Is there one that heals awful. Don't get cocky. 
Bring it on. I'm not backing down. Bob's bleeding. And I have to use Spark Mechanics, it's too good of a move. That's an exp oh. well, That's interesting. The gas balls have some merit. And I can use fruit as well. Uh, 200 on me. Well, let's try to throw him. No, I can't throw him. As well as I thought it would. Shoot him. Oh my goodness, dude, this tiger has so much help. I don't want anyone to go down. Try this first. Because I have to do some healing first. Oh, Mr. Masochist. Yeah, fight the tiger, bro. care of the healing. It's about okay. 200. Etc. Items. Same thing. You're gonna heal the girl though. I'm gonna psycho. I'm gonna heal you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with Sexy pose to lower your defense. Don't ask me how that works. And then we're gonna do pound mates and we're gonna call the girl. The cook, the soup kitchen chick. Please make me an amazing meal. Dude, she's making it so fast. Here you are. Thank you. I'm barely recovers MP, but that's good to know. Sorry, Dashi. Fuck him up. Uh, fuck him up. Got the time. <laughs> Nail scratch. Good try. We almost got him now. Get alive. 
You're gonna get stomped. Come on. Let's go. All at once now. It's so funny how he just jumps in place for so long. I'm ready. Do you have any move? Nah, I don't need a chance for Steel. Just hit him. Combo beat exact 13. Bam, dude. Oh, oh my goodness. Well worth. That took so long. I'll take it. He's just such a strong person. Fucking tiger, bro. <laughs> Too much health for a tiger. Nice. I'm getting stronger. Okay, now we're. Um, I don't see any items in here. Oh, I was wrong. Up the stairs. Who the heck is gonna be my next opponent then? It's probably just Mao Ma, right? Like, I already met the guy at the front door. Should he I had a pet tiger, Wait. fought that guy. Fought Shang. Outside. Should I open it? Got it. There's probably like some like lieutenant, right? Maybe a captain of some sort. Sticky rice. Finally, we're at the top. You think Mabuchi and the others are waiting for us? They <laughs> gave you oh, this just in case uh, throw at you so. didn't what level up. They gave you like a, a okay, auto heal. Sounds like a plan. Let's gear up. Should I open it? Wait. Did I interrupt it? Nah, that did interrupt it. Um. I think the dude's probably better than Airy Chan. Yeah. Listen. You ready? Uh, I'm ready. Keep going. Okay. I'm ready to get this over with. Yeah. I, but I figured it's only Mabuchi. Yo, Mabuchi. I've been waiting for you, Kasuga. I don't think I'll be satisfied until I choke the life out of you personally. Funny, because I heard you put a bounty on my head. That means you're happy to let someone else do it. Hmm. <laughs> Where's Zhao? Somewhere in this building. For now. And what about later? Later he'll be in transit. To the afterlife. What the hell? You want a hand with this twerp, Mabuchi Han? I'm good, Ishioda-san. I'm about to make sure nobody thinks little of us ever again. I'll prove that I deserve to swear up as a full partner with the Omi Alliance. Those men next to Lama are skilled fighters. Assassins, really. You might say they're the secret weapons of the Yokohama Liomon. Damn. And up there are more Omi Alliance men. Our chances of winning a fight are very low, actually. Yeah, I get it. We're up shit creek without a paddle. But I don't care. We got this, bro. The fact is, if we're really doubting. Zhao dies. That's all that matters. <laughs> no need to bristle, Kasuga. Ah. Uh. So you're Ichiban Kasuga. I am. How do you know me? Who are you? Some fan of mine? No. I'm a man who's never forgotten how Masumi Arakawa stole my rightful seat. Oh, really? What? You know this scruffy-haired punk, Tendo? I Tendo. hope he's the guy the captain shot. Alive and kicking somehow. 
I think he might be a naughty little secret of the captain's. I see. Kasuga, this charmer here is Tendo. Last of the lieutenants. Wait, the former boxer? No wonder he's a damn giant. I look forward to You're fucking knocking him down, bro. I think we'll have ourselves a little sideshow. Tendo seems interested in who you are. So I'll leave you alive just long enough to talk. Later, I'll really take my sweet time toying with you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Have anything to say? I You're beat your ass before, and I'll beat you again. I think that means hurry up and kill me. Sure, I mean, you can take it that way. Yeah, you still got that thing. I mean, I like it, but I beat you already using it. Um, let's just try to get someone down. I didn't realize how low level I am for this. Where's the loot counter? Alright, where's the loot chief? Damn, one down. Such a cool move, dude. I love grabs. the most health. You're still countering over there? Alright. Don't do shit. What happens if I kill him? What does the other guy do? End up doing? Does he hit a random guy? That's gay. Um, let's lower his defense. Uh, we're gonna wrap shooting. Alright, that was really good. You're gonna counter again? Yeah. So then we're gonna go for Broke. Berserker Spirit. Same thing with Ichiban. Uh, and let's just cheap shot him. That was really cool. You really have to pay attention to that though. Make sure you don't mess up. Yeah, so you gonna hit. No, I'm not. Disappear. Ultimate stack slap. 
a lot. So I'll be real careful. Warrior and I go for Pico's command. Stop everybody's attack. Sparkling cannon. Combo beats. So badass, dude. We just do like bad breaker. Reckless charge. Do it again. There it's in the lot. Divine Dragon Breaker. He stunned him. Alright. He's almost gone. Almost down. Ultimate stack slap. Swing me right around, baby. Swing. And this should finish him. It's time to have a party. Ten more health. Five more agility. Look at me go. Ten more health. And five more agility. Okay. Oh, he sat down, bro. That takes care of the sideshow. But there's still plenty of freaks to fight. Now look at this motley crew. So Maybe big you man. hadn't heard, but I'm a heavyweight boxing champ. I've actually heard I don't yet. think you'd even make weight for the fight. I'm definitely not in your weight category. That's what I you're asking. I would shame the Omi by taking you on. Not even close, dude. I'll be sure to keep an eye on you, though. <laughs> been a long time since I've been able to put my fist to good use. <laughs> Take me on right now, man. Aw, oh, you stepped aside. You're gonna regret letting us live. You can count on that. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why don't you save it for the ring? Yes, dude, is there a ring in this game? Fucking Tendo. Mm -hmm. When that guy sits down for a meal, he always saves the best tasting shit for last. Dude. What do you think about that, though? Huh? I think that's fucking stupid. Yeah, come at me. All that does is give someone else the chance to eat it first. Feeling warmed up yet, everyone? Guys? Oh, shut up. I need to save my energy for this shit, so don't make me answer stupid questions. <laughs> hey, Hotshot, 
If you've got anything up your sleeve, now's the time. Yeah. That's you, right? Make some magic! No, oh, did she, you think she was talking to you? No need for that. You haven't played your last card yet. In fact, here he comes now. Ah, oh, Nanbo. <laughs> I have a brief space. Nanba. You're back. I knew you would come back. Funny thing. I wasn't expecting to come back. I knew you would. Trust me on that. I thought I was done getting dragged into your messes. Yeah, it's a lot of messes. For some they require reason, a lot of cleanup. Couldn't stop worrying about you guys. They're messy. Namba. Messy messes. So I'm here. From now on, your fight is mine too. Let's go, Nanpa. Nanpa! Nanchan! Coming here and acting all cool, you jerk. Yeah. Where have you been, man? Come on! <laughs> Nobody's killed you yet? What? You got nobody left to stab in the back? Leave it to a Yakuza to hit below the belt. I know I fucked up. But I'm done with backstabbing. Thank you. I was worried for a split second at the I'm beginning with though. Him. You're my first friend. I owe you guys an apology. Let me make it up to you. Yeah, do you have some cool ultimate? Can I alter the team right now? Can I have a five-man squad? Look, you've been hitting the gym number. Looks like you beefed up a bit while you were away. Yeah, I noticed too. Really? It seems like whenever someone comes back to a Look party, at that snake. stronger than when they left. So that's normal? Well, I did want to impress you guys if I came back, so I practiced a new move. What'd you learn? Well. Alright, well, they took off Psycho John, which is a big ass disappointment. That's actually real sad. Alright, well, let's just uh, try to beat down one of these guys. Beat him up. This is why I have it. For moments like this. It truly is nutty. It's the perfect song for this too. Just you and us. Dude, what crazy dodge did you do? What is this? Oh, uh, he has an AoE now. That's so funny. What is... You can also bring back someone to life. Alright, start with Nani Breath. It's classic Nanba move. Crescent Slash. Fear. Alright, let's... Uh, I want to fear this... I want to fear this command, but... I do Berserker Spirit. So I'm just gonna... Probably double the Berserker Spirit. Push and shove it. Uh, no stun. That's not good. Come 
paralyze them, please. Double fear, yeah. Nice damage. Rapid shot. I'm up. Let's go. I'm trying to paralyze him. Watch me. Take this. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Almost. Good to go. Well. Dude, he's so fast. Why is he so fast? Alright, yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Peerless Resolve. Neck Twister. Nauseating breath. Defense increase. One lucky dice. And platter shatter. Good job, Nanda. You had a crazy A we I just sorry I didn't try it out. And an orbital laser. You saved my ass again. How many times does that make now? Let's stop keeping track. I have to. Uh -huh. But hey, what's your plan now? Huh? Being my best friend forever. I mean, as long as you're here, you wanna help me out a little bit longer? I need Please. all the help I can get right now. I need man. all the help. But what I really need are friends like you at my side. Best friends forever. Hey, man. Huh? After everything I did to you guys, as selfish as I was, you'd still call me your friend? Forever, man. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? You're a crazy good friend of me. It's all right, you can cry. You know, you're crazy. Really? Who's the one who came back, huh? For real. I mean it. You guys have a screw loose. Oh, you're gonna start so making me cry, dude. Like Shut Don't up. do it to me. Best friends forever, man. I'm sure all of us are telling you. Crazy. But that's the best part of being friends. We may have our fights. Welcome back. We have our ups and our downs. Thank you. But I'll always care for you. Moonshine. <laughs> uh, call that a shake? Come on. Show some love. Listen. Yes. Um, okay. His brother was treated very well, apparently. Hmm? He <laughs> married a woman? Like a Mijio? <laughs> That's so funny. Ciao! Whoa, how'd you get out? Are you alright? You're gonna introduce me to someone. Alright, so I saved Shao, no. and I saved the girl now. Do so I have to save the Seru clan leader now? The old man? Kasugaku. 
Yeah, I'll follow you. Where so, we headed? Who's the guy you wanted me to meet? An old friend of yours. Of mine. He prefers to meet with you alone. If you want to say my patriarch over to you? I don't get it. Did he rescue you? More or less. Thing is, he's with the only alliance. Is it the patriarch? I don't know. He wouldn't tell me. Guess I'll have to ask him myself. Pretty much. Uh, you're fucking assholes, Shao. Alright, well, the good news is it's not the patriarch. No. <laughs> Dude. It's been a while, Aniki. Dude. It's our bro. Holy shit! Mitsu! You're bro! Okay. I don't know if okay is the right word. <laughs> but I seem to be doing better than you, at least. What's going on, man? I never caught up with you after I got out of prison. Why is this music so tense? Nah, us peons hardly ever see him these days. So I've heard. <sighs> Not happy about that myself. Even though we're only Alliance now, inside, I'm still Arakawa. Uh, so you're Omi too. Yeah, he yeah. stayed in it. I had to rescue Zhao in secret. If they find out, I'll be executed. Doesn't that mean you shouldn't be talking to me? Yes, sir. It does. But I had to say one thing to you. I can't say much else, but you need to know. What? Arakawa-san, he's about to go all in with his next gamble. Well, yeah, of course it is. You'll need strong allies. More than he's already got? I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. What do you mean you can't say anymore? Me too. I'll be in touch. Alright, well, thanks. It was great seeing you again. I missed you. I was in prison. I love you. <laughs> so what's going to happen to the Yokohama Liumang? Damn, going straight for the jugular, huh? Obviously, Mabuchi's ruined everything. The Great Wall is... So Liumang is down, Gumiju is down. It'll crumble. That just leaves the Siri clan. Any hope? I don't know. But if we don't patch up the wall, it's all over. And do I get and to actually save them? Like Does he die? Man, it hurts just looking at that. I mean, he's an old ass man. man. That's why I'm thinking of stepping down. You're stepping <sighs> down? It doesn't matter so much who the boss of the Liu Mong is. In the end, the only thing that really matters is whether my men have a place to call home. You get it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I know the Liu Mang origin story. Ah. Then you know why we formed in the first place. I don't know if I can keep us going anymore. I was never that great at it. Not like my father. But who's the next leader gonna be? Yeah, if you don't have a child. I have someone in mind. Someone who's tough, bold, friend of yours, actually. What? what? Who? Song Hui San. Song Hui? The Komi Jewel? You'd give the Liu Mang to the Komi Jewel? Yeah, I know. Up to now, the two factions have been like oil and water. It doesn't no make sense. Changing. Walls are crumbling. If we don't start banding together, none of us will survive. <sighs> Not everyone will accept the merger, of course. I'm sure we'll lose members. That's crazy, that dude. Change the overall situation for the Eugene Three. It's join or die. Yeah, I think I see what you're saying. Do you? You figure Song Hui will keep the Liu Mang from going extinct. Meanwhile, the Komi Jewel will get a new home, so both your people and her people will be better off. Everyone's a big happy family. Shall actually a good guy. Well, you don't have to put it like that exactly. Soft sweetheart terms and shit. <laughs> yeah, I do. You're a good guy with a big old heart. I kind of figured. Do we really have to do this? I can't <laughs> be that annoyed with you. The Gene 3 do owe you a lot. 
The Seiryu clan's probably singing anthems about you. Uh, yeah, speaking of... Yeah, we're about to find, to find out. ...and see how grateful he really is. Sounds like you plan on making a big request. I do. I need to find out about There's Young Master. How this fake bill ended up in your pocket. And he's the only one who knows more about Arakawa. There's just something I want to ask him. I think you'll be willing to talk about more secret shit now, don't you think? He should. We all owe you big time. Uh, you sure don't hesitate to cash in on favors. There's no time to hesitate. Wow. Give my regards to him when you see him. There's an army coming. Um, what's good news is it's toward the. Uh, oh, please don't turn around. Why did they turn around? Um, I was running. Yeah, I know. Um, it's good. It's next to the romance blacksmith. So I get to go check out. Uh, upgrading weapons. Please don't hit me. I'll fucking fight him, fuck it. It's impossible to get out of it now. <laughs> it needs to kill. Keep her going, keep her going. Okay, they spawned on the other side. So let's go left here. Oh, please don't stop me. Um, yeah, okay. We'll just run it. Can I hop this? Come on, I was really hoping. I was really banking off that. <laughs> Please don't catch up to me now. Alright. Yeah. The blacksmith is over here to the right. It's not straight ahead. Yeah, it's not this one. There's people turning in that corner anyways, so this is perfect. I'm um, skipping that dialogue. They won't see me. So the next people that might see me though... Run it, run it, run it, run it. Easy. Do I have 20 million? No, I'm close. Golden shield. Metal bracelet. Use of all other attack types or cold attack types. Alright, well, never mind then. What are you doing psyching yourself up? Yeah, I, I finished this side quest. He got scared because we did the Yakuza guy showing up. We beat his ass. So you don't dumpster dive. Dumpster dive and Yakuza is a dumping grounds, bro. Hello? You may enter. Thank you. It's Thank good to see you, you again, old man. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk? I heard. And I believe I already know why you've come. Well, that makes my life simple, doesn't it? You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. You wouldn't Is really have a clan. Are you clans gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About twenty to thirty percent of our men defected to the Omi. Twenty to thirty. Stayed or grumbling behind my back, and it's hard to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. 
Yes, I know. He told you as well. You just know everything, huh? Not everything. But I'll tell you what I if do. If he knew everything, then he wouldn't Eventually, need the Kamujiro. The Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. Oof. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Ogikubo's lost his touch. I'm yeah, sure I'll sure, get those whispers going. He never lets a good crisis go to waste. Oh, really? Aoki knows it would destroy the party if it ever revealed their chair, Ogikubo, forged money for years. Now Aoki can easily blackmail Ogikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? The party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. Therefore, sure. he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. I mean, I knew Let's that. Let's see if I'm right about his part. next move. But, I think okay, this part. Solve parliament. <clears throat> Ooh. Dissolve Parliament at a time like this? That's insane. Because he'd he'd step um Prime put Minister, anyone he wants in the I office. I understand how you must feel, being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo Sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two thirds of the seats, minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' liberal party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. They're incredibly popular. Plus, they have my endorsement. A victory for the party would, of course, move your personal political goals forward. Oh. Tell me. Do you think you have the power to maintain the party's stability right now? He's a fox with a silver a tongue, man. Of support from Ogi Kubo Sensei. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. If you don't, I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ogi Kubo Sensei's crimes. Oof. That would mean the end of not only your administration, but the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? <sighs> Bro, you need to give him some time to think at least. Obviously the answer is no, but... That's besides the point. Aoki's scheme to destroy the Great Wall worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. So much power vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. Yep, yeah, it just had to be Young Master. What does he want with all this? Why? How did he become this? Kasuga, I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Wouldn't you agree? It is, yeah. Yep. Lucky me. Wait, unless the one thing I don't believe the is a coincidence. Director from Hello Works you set it up. Gene show. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still have that fake bill? Um, uh, maybe. Let's check my pocket. Yeah. Uh, didn't didn't you say you knew how it ended up on me? He is a thought. Yes. 
Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Don't say Araka. Don't you say it. Masumi <laughs> God fucking Arakawa. damn it. How a son. No, he he's the one who shot me. Yes, I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end up here? What? That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, sure, what does that mean? Us, don't you think? I think what to kill it you. means is Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Oh. Well, then, what are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say, but I do know that he means business. He wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. So he kept us alive on purpose, huh? How exactly do you know Arakawa-san? I knew it wasn't some miracle, but... That's a long story. I can't and think of a reason why he would to the sword. Hey on tower. Hey on tower. Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <sighs> he sure seems to be partial to Peking duck. Yeah, he does. He does like <sighs> duck. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. Really? You're serious? I'm finally gonna eat duck? Please don't die on me now. I'm gonna come back and I need to eat that duck, man. Survive bar. Please stay by us, stay alive, please. I want duck so bad. Share intel with party. Hey, who wants a friendship bonus? Who wants a friendship bonus? Listen. Oh, yeah, I'm good to talk. Okay. I am speed reading. Hmm. Hmm. Um, sure. Okay. Huh. They like to dump bodies, I thought. Oh, you no. think the chief knows something? Hey. Alright, yeah. Let's try to speak to the chief. Um, after I speak to you guys. Yeah, let's go, Dachi. I need to know more about what happened to this boy. Did he pass the law? The bar exam. Uh, dachi san what's up with the suit? Oh, don't you remember? We're doing that out of court settlement. Oh, yeah, Takashi kun scraped that guy's bumper. And he demanded Takashi kun pay him a million yen, so you decided to meet with the guy. Hoping it's just a damn con man. Wearing a suit to the settlement, huh? You really care about this kid, Adachi san Well, there's one more reason I was thinking I should look sharp today. You know how he sent a letter to Takashi asking for the contact info of the car owner? Takashi wrote back and said he wanted to be there when I met huh. the guy. Okay, sure. He finally wants to see his daddy long legs in person. I think this is a scam, bro. After 20 years of being sent money and all. You know, that whole time I came up with excuses to never meet Takashi. I, I just sent him letters. So Takashi-kun's gonna meet Yamada-san for the first time today? Yeah. I figured the least I could do is look the way a big shot should. Except, even though it is a suit, it's pretty plain for a rich guy, ain't it? Oh, give me a break, man. This is all I had. Anyway, I explained what's going to go down here to the staff, so we're good on that front. Maybe Takashi's being used. If, uh, you're willing to stay and back me up. Don't give Takashi the benefit of the doubt. Well, a real daddy long legs would have a lackey with him, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. Come on, don't make me deal with this asshole and the kid all by myself. Please, man. You really I'm, should, though. But when you interviewed Takashi 20 years ago, it was in person, right? What if he remembers your face? He was five years old at the time. No way he would remember me. Especially uh, now that's that I a good point. like his damn grandpa. Here's hoping. 
Excuse me, is Yamada-san here? Are, are, are you Takashi? Yes, I am. Wow, look at you, all grown up. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 it's just, <laughs> I still imagine you the way I did when we first started writing each other 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm Yamada. We finally meet Yamada-san. Thank you so much for supporting That's me all this time. Skeptic. Oh, I just... Enjoy lending a hand, promising kids like you. That's <laughs> that's what a philanthropist does. So why are we meeting here? What is this place? A bar. Oh, it's a, a a bar I run as a hobby. I'm a <clears throat> I'm a big jazz guy. So you're also a patron of the arts. Amazing. <laughs> and who are you? His bodyguard. Um, I'm just gonna say his secretary. Oh, uh, I'm I'm. Yamada-sama's secretary. You have a secretary too? You're even more loaded than I thought. Oh yeah. I always have my secretary come with me when I negotiate deals. He's a... <laughs> he's a sharp cookie. I don't want to say I'm a lackey. Oh, you sharing? <sighs> now, no, I you keep come. it friendly. Where's the owner of this car you scraped? His name is Hasegawa-san. He should be here soon. I knew it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Asking me to come all the way out here to a dive like this? All I can say is you better have my money. There's a few things I'd like to ask you first, Hasegawa-san. Oh, you must be Daddy Longlegs. What do you no. want? Oh, really? Why are you demanding one million for Why does he know the name? Because this is no ordinary car. Oh, is that right? I don't know much about cars, but it looked pretty ordinary to me. <laughs> It may look like a typical sedan, but it's actually a top-of-the-line British luxury car. And now I have to send it back to England for repairs. Right. Mind telling us how the accident went down? Well, I was just sitting there waiting for the signal, and this kid here, barely paying attention to what he's doing, of course, just pulls up right next to me on his bike. Mm -hmm. That's when his pedals scraped up against my bumper. Takashi-kun, does all of that sound right to you? I guess. I didn't feel like I hit anything. I mean, I felt the hem of my pants sliding along something, but... Ha! I wish it'd been the hem of your pants! When I heard the scraping sound, I looked over just in time to see your pedal gouging the hell out of my paint job! Really? Well, that's funny. What is? If it was a regular sedan, all you'd be able to see from the driver's seat would be the hood. No way you'd see the bumper down below. Oh, in my car, you can see it. <laughs> Steering wheels on the Damn, left. Damn, Ichiban knows cars. Obviously, don't know much about foreign luxury cars. On the left, huh? That's even funnier. Didn't you say the car was from England? Did you know British and Japanese cars both have the wheel on the right? Uh, uh, mm -mm. You might want to come clean before you dig yourself a deeper hole. I say the mark on the bumper was already there. And the car is about as British as me. So what'll it be? Admit you were trying to pull a fast one and we'll let you go. Which means it's if Japanese. You, you, want to keep you didn't catch that. Then my secretary <laughs> will have to intervene. By the way, I'm not just Yamada-sama's secretary. I'm also his bodyguard. Ah, fuck! Yeah, let's so, take this outside. It really was all a scam. And a shitty one at that. Wait, Yamada-san, did you know it was a scam from the start? Uh, more or less. We thought so. A million ain't much to a guy like me, of course, but uh, us rich folks don't like our money going to criminals. We gotta do our part, you know? Wow, rich people are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that we are. Sure, sure. So, how about that bar exam, Takashi? How exquisite. Last this year. Well, actually, I found out I didn't. God damn it. Oh. That's a shame. You can try again, though. But you know, the average age of the people who do pass is 29. So I figure as long as I pass it by then, I'm good. It's true. <laughs> Isn't that uh, four years from now? Yeah. And when I do become a lawyer, you'll be the first to know, Yamada-san. Ah, looking forward to it. Thanks. Come on, That's you've been doing this for 20 day. years. So you can do this for four Back more. Calm down. Four more years of sending money. Oh, man, that's gonna be tough. Here's hoping it only takes four years. Wait, what do you mean? He said the average. Yeah. A simple scam like this. How's he supposed to understand the finer points of law? 
Hey now, don't be like that. Haha, <laughs> that's also fucked up. You don't know what parts of the law he's, Maybe he'll pass he's looking at. I sure hope so. Well, either way, at least he bought my rich guy act. Yeah, well, we can thank my little performance. Well, the Barn Sam has all the different types of law, but he only, like, majorly studies, like, two or three. Celebrate the fact that we pulled it off. Like, three max, usually. With the cheapest drinks money can buy. Nice. You can change to a host or a chef. That's interesting. So I want to see what the chef is like. What's up, Nanda? I missed you, buddy. I missed you, good friend, pal. Lover. What? Excuse you? <laughs> you drinking, Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? Oh man, I hate these types of talks. I need to tell you I'm sorry for lying. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. Think you can forgive me? Come on, you know we're past that. What's important is your brother got Damn robbed. Damn it. All's well that ends well, right? That said, maybe now's a good time to tell me if there's any other holes in your story. You really were a nurse at some point, right? Yeah. Of course I was a nurse. Dude, could you imagine if he wasn't a nurse? Good point. Then what about the part where you sold hospital meds? Didn't you say that's how you got your nursing license revoked? Well, that's the short version, but it's more complicated actually. Oh, so you fucking were lying. Maybe the first person I've ever told this to, so I hope okay. well, for a while. I can't Come hold a grudge on. against that. Yeah, take a drink. Think about how you want to quote this. Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick, people being grateful for it. It's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom, and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. Damn, dude, he's not doing his job. When I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. But then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. Just like you, huh? We had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward, never missed a beat. On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. Oh, you were into so a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker, and I was just so? a middle aged loser. Doesn't matter. Uh, you're younger than you look. You could still be a player. Age is only a number is such a bad answer. Um, you can still be a player. Those old dudes walking around with hot young arm candy. You gotta be like those guys. Well, those guys also have cash to spare. Yeah, Not always. I mean, yeah, you're you homeless. A little and stay but, on top of the trends. But you're a nurse, bro. <laughs> you were probably making money at the time. Wow. I can't believe you'd say that to my face. <laughs> ah, but you're probably right. Yeah, anyway, back yeah, to he does Rita. like pigeons, what man. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whenever I saw her working, I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, <laughs> one night I was a little sleepier than usual. Okay. So I went out to the back lawn. They could maybe and... sneak in a nap. And suddenly, I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open. And Mizue chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, no, she, she was off, stealing she was items. To bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue chan and I were just nurses. 
We didn't even need to go in there. And then what was she doing? Well, at the time, yeah. there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Did he uh, sacrifice his credentials for her? The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. <laughs> Dude. Was Mizui -chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizui chan was paying everything she could. But a single nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizui chan never noticed me there. Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well, calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. But she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind, I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. Huh. <laughs> Now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end, all I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizue chan That was what I thought at the time. So I turned a blind eye. And? What happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizue chans actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally, being that the hospital's reputation was at stake. I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose, so he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizue chan stealing, that'd be bad news. She'd have a police record and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. Now, how could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizue-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Namba? Are you telling me you? Yeah, yeah. you did. I fucking well, told I would you. confess to the whole thing. Stealing, selling, and all. Did and you get with the girl at least? Nursing license? Yep. No, and I got fired too. <laughs> Obviously, you lost your license, bro. You went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Yeah, even a call literally. Or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out of a Seriously? Nothing, huh? Well, my brother disappeared not long after. So even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So, mm. no. To answer yeah, your question. Yeah, it just worked out. Though I do have to admit, in timing wise, I'd like to see Mizue chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program available an to international staff three years tenure. To this year, you worked at a top tier hospital. Dude. I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <laughs> if only I could. For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you. Don't be ridiculous. You think I'm he has any? I'm a rat who stole the medicine if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. <laughs> Care to bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're drunk. Damn, bro, that's an easy indicator. Fill me in, if you please. Oh, Nama here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. 
And here I was, thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. Damn, bro. It's fucked up. Thanks for covering for me. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. Yeah, she would only joke <laughs> about it. Not the person to probably tell. Fortune teller. Yes. Sounds so cool. Alright, deuces. Let's see here. Oh, crime. Crime in my city. Yeah, I took that from Delirious. Time to clean up. He's weak. Take him out. We're gonna save the man. Um, I just want. I kind of want to see what the new move looks like, but probably not right now. Trauma. Wow, oh, I got no money. That's messed up. You're welcome, good sir. With finesse. Another happy citizen. I should probably take this taxi. There's a lot of side quests I could do. But I do want to end this chapter out. So let's do this first. And do the side quests later. How lame, nothing's there. All right, Chief. Chief, it's good to see you again. How you doing? Are you holding up? Are you injured still? Huh? Are you gonna have a cigarette? Where do you find that? Chief. That's. Hmm? <laughs> Were you My using to hold it? Questions about the day I was dumped in this town. Yeah. I want to know why you didn't just abandon Ichiban, dump him at a hospital. If you don't mind telling us, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Yeah, did you see my clothes and you're like, I like those clothes. Mm, I see. So the jig is up. Fine. I'll tell you. It's as good a time as any. Uh, uh what? There's an old tradition in this homeless camp. A responsibility passed down through the chiefs for many years. What responsibility? On occasion, when we're asked, we dispose of bodies. What? Bodies? Yeah. There's a Yakuza family from Kamurocho who pays us to do it. They're called Arakawa. Arakawa? Seriously? They, uh, was this going on while they were still Tojo? I don't know every detail, but yes. The arrangement existed at that time. It existed before I started living here. We've dealt with all kinds of bodies, whether they've been shot, stabbed, beaten, no matter how nasty. We dug holes and buried them under garbage. Who knows how many are there now? Back during the bubble, we got one every month, or so I was told. Since I became chief, there's only been three. Damn, Arakawa the assassin. But there's one more secret rule. 
Applies to anyone the Arakawa bring here alive. Uh, secret within the secret. Great. What happens if they bring someone alive? We're supposed to give the person medical aid, then let them go free while pretending they're dead. Uh, what's up with that? In the criminal underworld, there's always people wanting to fake their own death. Gamblers, guys on the run, anyone who's afraid someone will hurt them. They send people like that here, and we honor the secret agreement. I think it might actually be a service the Arakawa family provides, but obviously they don't advertise it. So it ended up being a very rare event. And it just Is came across to you sometimes? This live body rule? <sighs> you got it. What sort of guy dropped me off here? I mean, probably just someone from the family. I had no reason to check or anything. Yeah, he didn't want to. you out of the trunk of a car. You were covered in blood. He paid me and left. Didn't say a single thing the whole time. Very intriguing. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Huh? What the? That was the, before the prison, though. After Arakawa-san shot me, I think he said something. I think it was, I'm counting on you, Ichi. How? What would that even mean? No clue. But the more I think about it, the more I'm sure he said that. Look, Ichiban. I'm looking. What? what are we looking at? I don't want to dash your hopes or anything. Uh -huh. When you were dumped here, you were on death's doorstep. You were only alive because everything I did went exactly the way we needed it to. But it could have easily gone a different way. I know you want to trust Arakawa, but... I think... Arakawa-san had to shoot me. All the other Yakuza at that meeting were watching him. Yeah, he's acting captain. Uh, never mind. You don't get it. Forget I said anything. Yeah, he's acting captain, bro. Of course he had to shoot you. It looked good. I'm gonna go to the tower now. Come on, bro. You're gonna have me run everywhere. I have all these side quests on my way too. Man. Why do I like this game too so much? <laughs> ah. I have to do the side quests. It's just the game is too much fun. I probably should have gone to Hello Works while I was down there, but too late. Go up here to the left. Oh no, it's just straight up ahead. I think it's those guys over there next to the white car. What's going on here? That's the opposite direction I was coming hey, from. Isn't this where people have been seeing that masked killer? Masked killer? One from the video, right? <gasps> wow, you're right. No way. We should look around a bit. What if he's actually here? Yeah, let's go. There's a video. Did she say iconic? I'd get it if this place was in a movie or TV show or something, but not for some murderer. Tell me about it. Michan's place has gotten reservations canceled because of it. Really? Seriously? This rumor's becoming a real problem. You wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Just talk about a masked killer sounds crazy. Are they for real? Maybe that guy could fill me in. That's yes, we're about to find out. Hello, good sir. Yeah, did you see him vanish? Something homicidal. Hello, good sir. How's so your beautiful day going? Mm -hmm. Have you seen any masked figures lately? Who knows? It's spreading like wildfire. Mm. 
Someone shady, a big guy covered in blood. Wow. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, actually. Uh. Hey, let's go check it out. We're uh, going uh, to the uh, alley. Uh, yeah. What's up, Saito? Got it. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, get some things ready and then we'll go. wants me to go. We're gonna come up here, go to the right. Five hundred yen. An iron plate. Um up peep to the right. And then hopefully I don't get spotted by these Yakuza guys. Just keep her going. This should be another quest right around here. Yeah, right around here, straight ahead. Oh, sup, little girl. What happens to the other one? Oh, wait. Is it, that was this game, right? Where I spoke to the little girl. With, yeah, donation to Megami. Yeah. She's got another set of quests. What's your problem now? Is someone bowling you? Okay. You don't look so hot. Sure. You shouldn't overwork yourself, you know? I'm sure. I have to do this for Makun. No, it's alright, dude. You can take some rest. Hey, Megumi! Megumi! Are you okay? Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I have to keep earning donations. You should take it easy for now. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let's get you home. Listen to your mother, sweetheart. Okay. Can I give her some of my so money? Get you involved in all of this. <laughs> Sad piano music. What gave it away? Megami's told us a lot about you. Oh, really? She said a friendly man with shrub hair has been helping her out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like my hair? She's had great success in gathering donations. We wanted to express our gratitude earlier, but no, oh, it's no problem. But what about Megami? I know it's for her little brother, but. Don't you think she might be working too hard? She must have heard she definitely is. talking about our financial troubles and taken it upon herself to make things better. We're here now because we were contacted by her school. It seems she hadn't been showing up lately. Serious? Taking school to collect donations for her brother. I'm ashamed it took us so long to find out. Don't overdo it yourself. Yes, yeah, I'll definitely don't time. skip school to <laughs> collect donations. Well, I'd better get back to work. Once again, just not give you a good today. look. Now, if you'll excuse me. I didn't know Megumi had it that bad. Maybe there's something I can do. We can give her all our money, actually, hopefully. I don't mind giving her, like, everything that I have. She could take my whole business for all I care. I had a boy running the whole thing previously. If she can run it. She got Ichiban Confections, bro. I'm gonna put it in my will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Keep going around because there's always someone in here. All right, there's n there's one quest. All right, but a long run we do. It didn't seem like there was gonna be any guys gonna stop us though. None but so little health, bro. Wait, that actually brings up a good point. It does have items on. Take this tactical vest. Um, natural sand. No, it's definitely tactical boots. Revived. I don't want the. Uh... I guess we're in boost experience. MP increases by 80. Wow. Actually, really cool. And it's designer earrings for sure. Oh, pearl earrings. I think we'll go to Kasuga. We'll give him the tiger belt. 
Damn. Alright. Follow me, everybody. Oh, hold the right side, though. Oh, they're gonna see me. Keep her going. Don't stop, never stop. Alright, we're good on this side, too. Oh. This is the quest right there. I'll just trail right behind them. They won't see me. So they're definitely seeing me. <laughs> Alright. Um, can you guard, actually? I just want to see... Not this new move. But I we won't get to see it. But apparently they they were just too weak. Huh? They're apologizing. What's going on here? You idiot. Um, the boy here is trying to take over the mantle. Hello, can I order some food? Mao-san, uh, we didn't have to meet up near the restaurant. Huh? <laughs> You're always oh. working so hard, and besides, I wanted to see you as soon as I could. Mao-san, I'm so sorry about last time. I really messed up that rice. <laughs> You're right. You're it sad about it? What it was. It was like a dessert. Very innovative. Uh, now, why don't we go to the movies? Oh no. Where did I put those tickets? Don't tell me I dropped them. Oh, crap. I'm so sorry. It's all right. We can buy them at the counter. Bro, she's so understanding. So tonight's on me. Oh, he got her a ring? Bro. How much money does this guy have? What is that ring? Oh, hey, you're actually wearing it. Thank you. A ring this cute for a woman in her forties? <laughs> does it really suit me? More than anyone else in the world. Honestly, I, I wanted to get you something more expensive. The thoughts what matters. But are you sure? No, oh, son. You're no old lady. Truly, I'm serious when I say I want to marry you. I know a man who's into Granny's panties, bro. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh. You're that guy's old man, right? My Utah. Utah. Married? Impossible. Not my Utah. Haha. <laughs> At least you're not jealous, are you? Do you wish that you were married? Dude, <laughs> you collapsed on the side of the street. Come on, man. At least be in your restaurant. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trouble you. The name's Tokuro Tanaka. I own a Chinese restaurant here in town. Ichiban it's nice to meet you. No worries. I wasn't gonna just leave you passed out like that. That's Yuta. So much to learn, and he's out wasting his time with a woman. Come with a on. woman. He's bound to start seeing people at that age. He, he hates women. No. He needs to hone his skills as a chef so he can take up the restaurant. There's no time for him to get caught up in love and what's more, she's 40. <laughs> age shouldn't really matter, right? Oh, like hell it shouldn't. I take it there's a story here. Truth be told, my There's a truth. <laughs> Passed away when he was little. It's tough being left behind. I don't want him to have to experience the same thing. I get how you feel, but shouldn't you tell him that though? gonna die, you know. If they really love each other, isn't that enough? Yeah, well, I hear she's been divorced once already. Oh, dude, you're just trying to find you're another sure thing to hate her for. Her? For all we know, she's playing him for a fool. You're thinking about this way too hard. Kasuga san, forgive me for roping you into this, but do you think you could find out more for me? I mean, if I find them. He's your son, isn't he? Yeah, well, he might not feel like answering me. He definitely won't. And I don't see myself handling it too politely either. 
<laughs> Dude, you're such a rough old man. All right, fine. Can't say I'm not curious myself. Oh, I appreciate it. Think you could talk to him next time he's at the restaurant? Yeah, sure. I'll ask him when I'm nearby. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens next time. Let's get out of here while we can. Hurry. Um, there was another side quest down here. I want to see if I can do that before walking in. Just so it doesn't pop up later. But there's also a part-time hero thing I, I wanted me to do. I just want to jump over this. He seems pretty stressed out. <gasps> That's not who I think it is, is it? It's Kiryu. Is this? this doll's got an orange for a head. There's a button on it. What happens if I... Oh, oh shit! Crazy. It talks? It, it has his voice. Oh, over there. Yet another meet you, Kun. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, did he surprise you? Uh, yeah. I guess he kind of got me. This little monster yours? Monster? Oh, heavens no. This is the one and only Onomichio Kun. Onomichio. Ono the hell's that? Onomichio Kun is a mascot created to represent the proud port city of Onomichi in Hiroshima. It's I true. Know, it's true. We did the cyclists. Right. So, uh, this thing represents Onomichi. How is no, it? it's gonna tell you. Surely you're joking. Just look at him. A charming face based on the Hasaku, a specialty of the Setouchi region. A steamy Onomichi ramen hat to add a touch of flair. Onomichi ramen is a staple of Onomichi culture, after all. A cute fish pouch to represent the city's wide variety of delicious seafood. <laughs> cool fishing boots to highlight Onomichi's strong fishing industry. And a trendy shirt with his surname, Ono. Oh, he really oh is the no. perfect mascot, don't you think? Why, just looking at him brings to mind all that Onomichi has to offer. It was such fun. <laughs> Yo, Gakidomo. Orekosuga. Turning on a Hasek face. Osharina Onomichira. Cute on a Sagana no Poshetto. Dioshino Kokoroki. Cool in a Nagagusu. Ikasta Naui. Ono Tore. He nailed it. So. Probably went even beyond what you probably should have. Oh no. Mikuna. It was such a fun side quest. He's pretty popular as of late. He's a featured product in the Onomichi souvenir section of our new shop here in town. You're selling this in a souvenir shop? Look how detailed he is! Well, put it that way, sure. Oh yeah, didn't this thing talk to me earlier? Yes. It does. Voice plays when you press the button. Mm. Oh, isn't he great? The way he says, Michi, sure is cute. <laughs> yeah, sure. I was thinking earlier, his voice is actually pretty neat. Yes, Sappy, uh, yeah. Only the genuine article will speak. Great. Uh, yes, uh, like... Oh, that is clearly fake. Oh yeah, looking at them side by side, they're definitely different. I'm happy he's become so popular. But popularity means there'll always be those looking to make easy money from shoddy imitations. Many of them are obscenely poor quality. Who troubles me to think that these fakes would even attempt to pass as Michio Kun? Hey, this fake's got a button too. Wanna try it out? No, wait, please, don't press that. Let's press it. That just makes me want to press it even more. Never tell me not to press a button. Huh? It's not talking. No, obviously I was gonna mash it. It blew up. 
Ah, are you okay? Oh no, your hair's all frizzy now. It wasn't before. Anyway, <laughs> it's so true. What the hell was that? Well, now what was that, dude? They got explosions in them. Got it. So the fakes have shitty batteries and might blow up. Jeez. I've been going around collecting them wherever I see them being sold. But when it came to hauling off the fakes, the box turned out to be a little heavier than I thought, and uh, I sort of tripped. Uh, to make matters worse, the genuine ones got mixed up. So I have too. to differentiate them. These fakes could result in an explosion. So I'm at a bit of a loss here. So you basically made a minefield. Recently, it's been difficult with my poor eyesight to see the finer details of things, making it even harder to tell the real ones. That's so funny because you found all these to begin with. I was just on my way to deliver the genuine ones to the shop too. Even if I were to ask for help, I would need to find someone with both decent eyesight and a hairstyle that won't look all crazy after an explosion where am i going to find someone like that mm -hmm. oh don't do it i know where this is going i do this all the time i'll see you later i'm out of here and now wait just a minute oh come on i'm really pretty anti getting blown up oh don't be such a sour puss damn he called us a sour puss time of need not many people have frizzy hair the strength to withstand explosions and time on their hands like you do Seriously, i don't really have time on my hands but He's the star of our I do really like this side quest. Is thoughtfully hand painted and assembled by the people of Onomichi. These are all done by hand. Indeed, they are. The local grandmothers of Onomichi do it as a side job, as a way of sharing their beloved. The local grandmothers? Who were that? Even the children help put the finishing touches on them. I want to get these Michio-kun figures to as many people as possible. For each one contains the hearts and souls of Onomichi. Can you please help me gather the Michio Kuns? Uh, anything. Right, yeah, sure. Really? Oh, thank you so much. I just realized that I haven't asked your name. I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. I'm glad to have you on board. I'm glad to be here. Please show me the way. Hmm. So, yeah. so what can we do? It's probably just the examine like they always are. Click seven before my health goes down. Walk around and then look around. Hmm. What's this? This is a fake. Hmm. Wait, do I have to pick up the fur the real one? What's this? Is that all I'm looking for? Is the one is real this? one? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, these What's are this? fake. I don't know about this one. Mm -hmm. No. It does... In fact, look like it has everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Easy. Hmm. What's this? Oh, that's a What's fake. This? Is this fake? That looks pretty real to me. What's this? Hmm. Huh? Bam. Mainly, you just look to make sure they have Is sleeves. It this? seems like the pretty easy indicator. As long What's as they this? have sleeves, they're good. Hmm. That one. What's this? Doing the hand movement though, yeah. Mm. Hmm? Is That's this good. What's this? Pass, What's pass. This? Mm? That one's a good one. What's this? Mm. Hmm? supposed to be seven. Pass, What's pass, this? pass. What's this, this one's real. Mm. Hmm? What's this? Pass. Mm -hmm. Pass. What's this? Um, pass. 
pass. These are all passes I have to go over here. That looks real. Now there's one more. And it's this one. Slowly moving. Easy, didn't even mess up once. Wow, thank you very much. Oh yeah? <laughs> Glad I could help. But what are you gonna do with all those fakes still lying around? Oh, that's okay. I'll have the staff pick them up later. Sure. Okay, sure. I must say, I was somewhat touched by how passionately you analyzed those Michio Please don't figures. think about it. You're no longer just Kasuga-san. From now on, you're Ichiban Kasuga Michio Master! Thank you. I appreciate the no, title. I think Kasuga suits me just fine. Oh, come now. Anyway, there were a lot more fakes than I thought. Once a character gets even the teensiest bit popular, <laughs> so true. It's long before the fake goods come rolling out. So true, there's a lot of fake Some goods out there. so exceptionally well that even the professionals can't tell the difference. Mm. Even so, fakes are still fakes. All right, take care. You're gonna give me one. It would be inexcusable to those who work so hard to make Michio Kun goods with love. Can I have one? And to the fans as well. Right. Buying a cheap knockoff's not gonna help Ono Michi or Michio Kun. Indeed. And this isn't just about them. Fill the world with enough fakes, and eventually that which is made with love and care will cease to exist altogether. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a life lesson? ...and the fans who appreciate them to ever have to see such a day. Yeah, I feel you there. That's why, as Michio-kun's producer, I vowed to do all I can to fight back against these fakes. Nice. Congratulations, us. I'll help out in any way I can. I look forward to see what happens. I take down these pesky forgers. They've yet to reveal themselves. Well, I can't say I blame you. I know! Why not take this Michio Kun figure as thanks for today? I knew it. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Why is his head all beat up? Oh no, quite the contrary. A few years ago, there was a man who put on <laughs> a very Michio Kun costume in Onomichi. That fateful day was what kicked off Michio. I believe that man's sense of justice and honesty breathed new life into Michio Kun. <laughs> I've been carefully saving that costume there on the chance that one day he'll return. Q Cosmo like will return. Once again. He will Some return. Of these costumes have been made, mind you. But that one is special. <laughs> Sounds like you left an impression on you. Hope I can be half as cool as that someday. <laughs> Indeed. Anywho. <laughs> You really saved me today. Now I need to hurry and deliver these figures to the shop. I hope to see you soon, Kasuga-san. Yeah, see you around. Mascots, huh? Protecting these guys is serious business, I guess. Huh? Again? Man, you met him before. You met Kiryu last time. Well, that was pretty cool. When they go beat up these guys now. SOS in China town. This could get rough. Oh, whoa, he took off his shirt. Well, take this. Beat him up. Nice. Bring it on. Check this out. Oh, okay, he's got some health. Let's see what the new move looks like. Oh, whoa. Okay, it did quite a bit of damage. Neck twister, this guy. Get him, he's down. Just spit the throw again.
Nice. You're very welcome. Goodbye, sir. That's a dead end over there. A black belt. Alright. Now let's continue the story. Hopefully this chapter ends rather soon. Let's get some more dialogue out of here. At least I did finish a side quest. One less to do. One less started. to do later. You sure you don't mind treating me? What? Are you actually able to pay? So true. I wish I could. I got twelve million though. I don't think they take this. You don't sound like you're gonna relax during this meal. Should I be? You say. Hopefully I'll relax enough to enjoy the duck. So, uh, how do you know Arakawa-san? I'm on the edge of my seat here. It wasn't long after the war the counterfeit bills started being produced in Ijincho. It was top secret. Only the heads of the Seiryu Klang and the Liumang plus some officers knew about it. Okay. Outside of that inner circle, they also had to hire people to smuggle the bills. And you were one of those? Smugglers? One of them was a traveling actor. His name was Toshio Arakawa. He was Masumi Arakawa's father. Oh, what? what? Oh. One day he came to us saying he lost an entire suitcase filled with a hundred mil in fake yen. Serious? No excuse in the world could have saved him. A mistake that grave required the Seiryu clan to make an example out of him for the other smugglers. <laughs> but remember, only a few people at the top even knew about the counterfeiting. It wasn't a task they could hand to just anybody. So I, being next in line to inherit the clan, was entrusted to carry it out. You are? So did you... you actually... Yes. I killed Toshio Arakawa. You father of here Arakawa, in this room, huh? In this very place. Yeah. Forty years I, ago. I recognized it. But I had no idea who was in the room with my target. By the time I learned it was his fourteen year old son. It was too late. Would you still have done it though? I had to go through with the hit. Was... Knowing this boy would see his father die. Make my guilt even worse. Later, I found out why Toshio lost the fake bills. His wife and her lover had stolen them. And those two fell into the ocean and disappeared. Their corpses were never even found. So Arakawa-san lost both his parents, one after the other. And his only other friends, the theater troupe, disbanded soon after without their leader. Masumi Arakawa became a drifter, along with a few other actors. They couldn't trust anyone, so what other path was there for them, except becoming Yakuza in Kamurocho? Arakawa joined a low-ranking family in the Tojo clan called the Hikawa family. Life wasn't easy for him there. They were the kind of family that took hits without thinking twice. Really? Yes. So they were always in need of ways to dispose of a body. Matsumi Arakawa was tapped to help with that. And he was extremely cautious. To do it, he started coming all the way to the homeless camp in Ijincho. Really? Even though the family was based in Tokyo? Why? Well, truthfully, he wanted an excuse to come to Yokohama. Because it would afford him opportunities to hunt his father's killer. Oh. I see. So Arakawa-san was using the homeless camp to dispose of bodies all the way back then. 
Do you think that's how he met Chief, or he knew someone who met new Chief? Every time he was here, all he started with was a single clue. Yeah, it reminds me of like a dragon Asian. Suspicious waiter he saw here that night. Eventually, seven years after the murder, I received an invitation to come here. He signed his invitation, Matsumi Arakawa. It was a bold declaration, and I knew immediately the running would be futile. So I came here, alone. Really? I didn't even bring a bodyguard. Why the hell not? Ballsy. To put it simply, I was prepared to die. For the but crimes. In this line of work, there are no good ways to die. And I can think of worse ways to go that would not give that boy. There's just happy to ways to die. The memory of what I'd done to him never left me, you know. It was always like a small bone stuck in my throat. He was sitting what you thinking about? You are now. Here? Yep, right there. Yes. He didn't look a day over 20, but his eyes had that hard, flinty gaze of an old killer. I couldn't help myself. I told him everything. I told him why I Reminds killed Reminds me of Shirose. I even told him about the secret counterfeiting. I figured I was dead anyway. He had a gun in his hand, and all he had to do was pull the trigger. But he never once interrupted me. When I'd finished, he slowly stood up. I stopped him as he turned to leave. Didn't you come here? I asked if that was all. I asked. And what did he say? He said, "If only you had ignored my invitation, then I could have shot you in the back." Then he left. Uh, boss. In 1984, the 10,000 yen bill changed from the face of Prince Shotoku to Yukichi Fukuzawa. By that time, Arakawa had found his own Yakuza family. So I sent him a gift. What was it? A fresh batch of crisp fake, fake bills. Fake bills, yeah. Fukuzawa. And that's why nothing on the back you have one not exactly legal tender then how was that a gift it's hard to explain if I had to say it was out of gratitude sure but for what I should have died that day I met with Arakawa. It would have been right. And yet he was fine me. with it. Not only that, but he lifted a terrible weight from my chest. Furthermore, it's not an exaggeration to say the equilibrium among the E. Gene Three continues to this day because of him. Wow. I owe him an unfathomable debt. And one day, I... I must pay it back. The defective bills were how I chose to communicate the sentiment. The counterfeiting crazy. secret is Ijincho's weakness. It's crazy, man. It was only thanks to Arakawa that the Ijin Three continued to secretly wield that power. If you died, this whole course, story would be different. That means if he ever feels like it was a mistake to let me live. He can use the fake bills to unravel everything I've built. The gift wasn't the bills themselves, they were leverage. I, I sense he's uh, something on the back to that effect. Cashing it in. Neither justice but I'm nor mercy should <laughs> tip the scale. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It means that those in power must <laughs> reward and punish where necessary. I felt it was an appropriate message. I suppose the writing has faded at this point. 
Whoa. I don't know where you look at that. So that's the whole story. Up till this moment. But now I'm sitting across from a man holding one of those fake pills. Which, of course, is a message from Arakawa that only I could understand. The message is... Masumi Arakawa sees you as a beloved family member. Protection. Arakawa-san thinks of me as family. He would not have placed that bill in your pocket lightly. Do you see its significance now? After everything I've told you? <sighs> there is almost no doubt in my mind that Arakawa did not want you killed. So he didn't shoot you out of malice. He shot you so that you would be brought here, be saved by the homeless, and eventually meet up with me. For this moment. <laughs> but what comes after That's this moment? Everything I can tell you. That's plenty. Thank you, Chairman. I see it all now. I always kind of figured. What of the Save You Clan? Are you going to go join that Omi yeah. now, though? Well. It's your move now. You said most of the truths probably know, will, so but are you? It's okay. That's enough. I trust you. <laughs> well, I don't hear that often. Yeah, neither do I. Not even from my friends. But those friends are trustworthy to me. And so are you. I believe everything you said. And my faith in Arakawa-san is coming back strong. Kasuga. Yeah? Are you a blood relative of Arakawa's? I am not. <laughs> no, it's not like that. I see. Well, he must have been happy to have such loyalty as yours. I think so too. Yeah. Father, I think. All right, this better not be a gun. I swear to flipping God, this uh, this is a fucking gun. I'm gonna be pissed. All right, well, that's gonna conclude today's stream. Thank you all for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night. Take care. Bye bye.